Hello guys, welcome to CRNT Designers, Chetan here. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to make a sci-fi art with the help of simple UV sphere. So are you interested in it? Let's get started. Wait, if you didn't watch my last tutorial in which I have made the sci-fi art with the help of simple cylinder, then please watch it. It will definitely help you. Now let's move toward the next sci-fi art with the help of simple UV sphere. Let's get started. To make a sci-fi art, we need to add a UV sphere. So add a UV sphere, take it a little bit up and rotate it into 90 degrees. Then select these faces and another side faces also. And then control plus to increase that selection. Now what we need to do? Just control I to invert that selection. Then extrude it in, extrude outside these faces. Okay, there you go. It's very nice. Next select these faces, just this, this select that selection and then extrude it once again outside then select these faces and then extrude inside these faces okay it's looking cool then insert these faces like this and then extrude it out okay now select these faces and extrude it inside these faces okay in this way and it's look pretty well then add a bevel modifier and give the proper amount 0 0.005 and change it to the angle and it's look pretty well now select these faces, then add the subdivision surface modifier. Okay, and we got the better shading right there. Now select these faces and then add a loop cut right there and scale it that loop cut little bit and adjust it. Now select these faces and extrude these faces inside. One more time select these faces and extrude these faces inside. Now we need to select these faces and delete those faces. Select the vertices and control and press F to fill those gaps. Okay, now add three loop cuts, add a bevel on them and extrude inside those faces. Okay, there you go, it's look pretty well. And it's okay, fine. Next, shear smooth it, then select this face, insert this face, then extrude inside this face. And then one more time, adjust its scale, you can move it and then insert this face and then extrude it out and this time we need to add a small bevel on it not the small the proper bevel on it add a bevel and increase the segment 7 segment will be fine ok and it's look pretty well now select this face insert this face and extrude inside this face and add few loop cuts to make geometry well ok and it look nice then select these faces and we need to extrude inside these faces. So top 4 faces, bottom 4 faces, side 4 faces, both side 4 faces. Select these faces in this way and shift select. So you can select one at a time and then extrude inside these faces. Okay. We will use a symmetrize option to do the same process to the another side also. So don't worry about it. Select once again similar kind of uh, faces, uh, similar type, we are going to do same process here and select these faces then extrude these faces inside, okay and there you go, it look pretty well. Now we need to do something and that is just adjust your bevel, bevel angle and just tweak this selection, uh, tweak these things to get the more better shading, more better look. Okay. Now select these faces. Uh, every time leave two faces right there and do uh, and select two faces. Okay. We want that the outer surface will be the hard one so we don't apply the subdivision surface modifier on the outer surface but the inner part which will be the soft so we will apply the uh, subdivision mod modifier in the inner surface this means we will give that subdivision modifier for the inner part and outer part there won't be any subdivision surface modifier okay there will be on only the bevel modifier so this is the thing and then select these faces then extrude inside these faces and we will get this look and it's look pretty well so if you if you turn on the subdivision surface modifier then we will get the weird shading so that will be the outer part so we will delete that sub, subdivision surface modifier 
because when we extrude these faces inside that time the subdivision surface modifier gives us very bad shading so that's why then select these faces then insert these loops uh, and make sure their individual should be selected and then extrude inside these faces okay so we got this box kind of design right there and it's look pretty well now symmetrize mesh and there is a symmetrize option and we, we need to do symmetrize from the z axis okay and we got this same kind of design from both sides now select these faces and we will add loop cuts right there and then select this loop cuts add a small bevel on it and select this bevel faces and extrude inside this bevel faces okay extrude these faces inside uh, so we, we, uh, we have got that grip kind of effect here now select these faces first and then control plus to increase your selection now we need to do shift deselect uh, sorry uh, we need to take a duplicate so shift d to take a duplicate so i'm just turning all that subdivision surface modifier now i will duplicate this face and then p uh, press p to separate that by selection okay we have got the different object right there you can see this is the another object and this will, this is the another object and then one more time control plus to selection uh, to uh, increase the selection and for our first object and delete the, those faces and use the symmetrize option to get the same effect from the both side okay now this will be the outer part and that will be the inner part so insert one face select uh, uh, that two faces and those two faces and then insert it and this will be the inner part of our sci-fi ball you can say and then select this outer edge and extrude it along the x and y axis and now extrude it and now we will add mirror modifier to get the same effect from that side also so just add mirror modifier but make sure mirror mo modifier should be top of all other modifiers okay then make sure the clipping should be on and then scale it or move it so we will get that join then add few loop cuts right there two loop cuts are fine for good geometry and it look pretty well now we just need to add just its size and position okay so i feel that this part should take a little bit out so that's why i scale it but it's totally depend on your model just i'm here trying to get the right position So you can see we got uh, here we have got two parts one will be the inner and another, another is the outer part outer part is a little bit hard kind of and inner part is a little bit soft kind of okay now give the proper name inner part and outer part Now select these faces of the outer part and delete these faces. Okay, now select the vertices and control uh, and press F to fill that gap. And then select this edge. Go to the edit mode and select this edge and then press F F F F. So you, you can fill that gap. Okay. Now take your inner part and just slightly move this edge to get that bevel kind of look. To tight that uh, bevel, we need to move this edge. Okay, so you can see this is the inner part, which is quite soft, and that was the outer part. Okay, and it's look pretty well. Now we need to UV and uh, UV edit this, but this is a cylinder we have created with the UV sphere this, and. We just need to select these faces and I will try to UV unwrap this. So 
uh, use the smart UV editing smart UV project you can use for it because we will give simply one color for it and this is something that I will use the cylindrical projection just you need to rotate it before uh, giving the cylindrical projection in the 90 degree ok now we have successfully UV unwrapped this model and now it's time to do shading work so create a new texture for it give it name whatever you want so this is the outer metal and I will give the little bit black color little bit dark color and increases metalness decreases roughness and here I have one texture right there and I will connect that uh, color to the base color option and then add a vector bump map and connect the color option to the height uh, input of your bump map and then connect the normal uh, output of the bump map to the normal then add a normal map and connect it ok decrease its strength and you can adjust it uh, so it's very easy to adjust it and then add a mix RGB and add a base color because I want you know, black color, a black kind of texture so that's why I added just black color then I added one that uh, RGB curve to get the more black kind of look and now the inner part texture and this will be little bit metallic so this will be light color so that's why I have given the simple metal texture to this okay and it's look pretty well and you just need to adjust it now we need to add some different texture to this then select your UV sphere inner part and create a black texture then I will I need to add the loop cuts right there I will uh, show you why did I added this loop cuts just you need to add some such kind of loop cuts to avoid that weird shading or to avoid that the stretching of your texture so you need to add loop cuts in those gaps okay then select these faces and you need to select these faces and then you can give that the black texture which we have created ok and then turn on your subdivision surface modifier so you can see I, I can I am successfully I have successfully that avoid that the stretching of the texture because of the subdivision modifier it happens so that's why I added that loop cuts similar thing you need to do for this inner kind of inner that holes you can say and add loop cuts there also and select the faces and one more time give that black texture now it's look pretty well and we have used the mirror modifier so we don't need to do the same thing for the back side also the other one side also now I want to create a rubber texture so that's why I have added one rubber texture right there and I am going to connect that bump map of that rubber texture to the bump map uh, and the bump map output normal output to the normal map I uh, connect that color output of to the height input of your bump map and the normal output of the bump map to the normal of input of your base uh, principal BSDF then I select these faces and then I have done the uh, smart UV project here just select these faces properly and then you need to do the smart UV project and then smart UV project and it's look pretty well and you can see and we need to add few loop cuts right there to get a better shading or avoid that stretching of texture so that's why we need to add few loop cuts right there 
so add few loop cuts we need to add two loop cuts only one is there and one is there and it's look pretty well now we need to give the image and shader and because we want that sci-fi look so that's why we need to give the image and shader to over this sci-fi ball model so create one more texture and that will be the blue image and I, I was thinking to give the blue image and but then I realized that orange will look much more better so select these gaps ok assign that image on uh, texture and this face also insert this face and then assign that image on texture so here some problem was happening so insert this face and then there you go it's look pretty well now I tried a different image and shader so I feel that orange looks much more better in this case so now the last thing just we need to create a studio light setup for this our model looks pretty well and we have successfully made this model and it's look much more realist, uh, realistic we can't say but it is a sci-fi look we have got right there and we need to create a studio light setup and select these edges also and then give me shader to these edges also and before going to the making the studio light setup just these faces are remain those rectangles so I feel that I need to give the black texture for the, those rectangles ok so select this rectangle and give them a black texture we need to select these faces manually because there is no any shortcut for selection and give that the black texture black plain texture because I here I didn't use any kind of uh, bumpness or any other texture just simple black color texture it is basically here I have tried different uh, try to get the more beautiful design but it won't work so don't do this so and it's look uh, in some way better but I didn't like that design so uh, I will leave it as it is I I like just uh, I have given the only black texture it at there and that's look much more better and you can see our model looks pretty well and just we need to create a studio light setup if you didn't watch my studio light setup tutorial then please watch it it will definitely help you to create a better studio light setup for such kind of to take the uh, for such kind of models to take the more better render and the lighting tutorials and you are ready to take the render of this image after creating the studio light setup right there so our thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe my youtube channel bye bye see you in the next video